Okay, now I'm going to just take the excess paint off with the little flushable wipe. You can also clean it with a paper towel and then create a paper towel print like I did in my previous lesson. Just going to put a little bit of this quinacridone, quinacridone nickel azyl gold because I kind of want an orangey color. Just make sure that my brayer is clean. A little bit of tight and buff at the edge here. That's kind of probably a little too much, but we'll work with it. And then I'll add a little bit more over here. Okay, so I'm going to take my little handmade paintbrush and I'm just going to spin it around. Not too hard because I don't want to make too many indentions on there. So that will give me some interesting kind of more organic shapes on my surface. I'm going to take this and just spin it on here to get the rest of that paint off. And I can also spray it and see if that'll spread the paint a little bit more. Then the paint underneath is still wet a little bit, so it is going to mix. So I get a little bit of that brown. And then I'm going to take this piece and print. I'm just going to print this right here. So that's kind of fun. I love the overlay. You can see that teal peeking through. Exactly what I wanted for color combination wise. So there's still a lot of paint on here and I'm going to take and I just want to print this little edge over here. So this is the 11 by 14 size of the printmaking lightweight paper. And then I get a good contrast on that. And then I can take this, I'm going to do one more little edge, just continue to take the rest of this paint off of here. And then that's what I have so far. And I still have some paint on here. So I'm going to put it on the back of one of my stamps. This is one of my graffiti stamps. And I'm just going to take the rest of this paint and just roll right on there. So you can see it didn't get everything on there, but there, the paint is also on here. And so I'm going to print both of those. So I'm going to take this and just roll it right onto the paper. And it'll transfer the stamp. So it's just a little hint of the color on there and a little bit of the mark. And then I can take the actual stamp and print that. So you just get a little hint of that color on there. Let's do one more, actually. Got a little bit of it there. Take my water, spray it. See if I can pick up a little bit more. 
So you can see you can really get a lot more paint off of the stamp when you use the spray bottle. Do one more. Just to get the rest of the paint off of there. And then I'll just clean it off with the baby wipe. And normally, since I use my stamps unmounted, I just throw them right in the water if I can't get all the paint off of it. Okay, let's just do a little bit more. And this one I'm going to leave. I kind of like the variation of color like that. So I'm going to leave that. And... This time, press the side of the brush in here. And you can see I get an interesting print. And then I can take this and print it over here. So you get a little bit of that. Print on there. And then I can actually also take this and spray. And then I get a little bit more color. Let's see if I put a little bit more spray on top. Then you can see the outline. So you can use these handmade brushes in a variety of ways. Twirl it, spray over it, drag it. And then I'm gonna take this one and come over here and overprint. I'm just gonna use the corner. Pull that one up. A little bit of this in here. So when you put a stamp that has writing and you print it, it's going to be backwards. But that's okay because I'm just looking for, you know, the color. I'm not too worried about it being it being able to read read it. So I can put that there and then overprint. Maybe just this little edge. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this. Pull that up so I get a slight bit of that color. That's kind of fun. And let's see. Maybe I'll do the rest of that over here. And pull that up on here. So there's still paint on here. I'm going to take the rest of this paint and just roll over the back of the of the stamp, Oops. and then print that. Since my brayers are wet, I'm just using the bottom of the bottle. Spray this a little bit of water. Yeah. Just gonna stamp on here. And then take another print. Maybe on this one where I sprayed earlier. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this corner. Pull it up on there. And then this I'll just clean up onto another piece of paper. So that you can see all of the little stamps in there. So I'm going to take this and clean it off one more time.
I want kind of more of a peachy color, so let's see. Put a little bit of this in that. And maybe just a little dot of this little quinacridone red. Let's see what I get. Oh, I forgot to have brown on my brayer. So we'll do it like that where it's not totally mixed in. And I forgot to I'm gonna clean this off. Well, let's see what happens if I, there's blue paint on there. So that, you're gonna see a little bit of that blue paint. And I'm just gonna clean this off on a piece of paper. I'm gonna put part of this guy on there. Part of that, just cover it and see what happens. Let's see, I'm gonna overprint on here. Before I do that, I'm just going to clean this sprayer off of here. There's a little bit of paint still on here, so I just want to take it off. And then here, let's overprint this and see what I get. Ooh, that's fun. Awesome. So the one great thing about using the jelly plate and really thin stencils like this is that you get some really nice detailed prints. So here you're seeing that blue that com came underneath that's popping through, which is kind of fun. And that's the thing I love about doing the layered printmaking like this you kind of never really know what you're going to get and you just have to be open to you know letting whatever happen happen so i'm going to take the rest of this and print it i'm just going to roll over and see if there's anything that comes out there's probably a little bit of paint that'll come off of here. Sometimes you get a really good print, sometimes it's really light. So that one was a little bit light, but you still see that print. And then, that's kind of still wet. I just wanna, I think I'll wait. I'm gonna spray this over the top and I think I'll spray that. But this is how this is starting to look. So you see how once you start building those layers, you can get some really fun backgrounds and prints. And then I have this piece here. So I'm gonna take this and pull the rest of this off of here. And then I'm going to print that little corner over here and see how that shows up on top. So not so much, I don't really like, you can still see some of that background, but that's okay because I can let that dry and I can go back and rework it later. And then before this dries, let's just, Make sure I clean that off. And then I'm just gonna clean off the rest of this plate. Cause I don't like how that color mixed. But you know, the fun thing is that later, you know, I can cut this apart and use pieces of it. So like I say, I don't really worry about it too much. I just play.
So I love this, the watercolor effect. So I always spray. So give you some interesting looks. And then on top of this, I can put a little bit of pink in there. Let's grab this little one. And then we'll see if we can pick up anything off of there. So there's that print, and then I just grabbed this and it's sitting there. Let's see if I can get anything. So you get a little bit of color. I lift it just a little bit to see if I want to spray it, and I think I'll leave it because I kind of like that, just that hint of that, that little pink on there. So here is what this is starting to look like. I'm going to do another print over that. I'm going to add a little bit of white to my plate. 